all the way from Coolmore Stud in Ireland is Oshin Riley. He shared some of his assessments of this year's national yearling sale. Oshin, lovely to have you in South Africa. Tell us how this happened and how you came to be here. Well, thanks very much, Michelle. Um, look, I, I've done uh, yearling sales all over the world, so I have, and this was one aspect that I thought I should try and come and see. I wanted to see, obviously, what the market's like, what the horses are like, and the handling also. So um, I spoke to numerous people about studs I should go to and that, and I was lucky enough that Matunzuk were willing to take me on. Like I said, I just wanted to see more what the price of the yearlings were going to be and what the uh, breeding and pedigrees look like. My assessment, the uh, pedigree is very strong. The, I feel the market is very weak. On day one, the mar it, it was a buyer's market. There was yeah. a lot of nice horses, went for very small money. Obviously, the rand is very, very little compared to the US dollar, Australian or Euro, of course. So I have to always look at that in the back of my mind the whole time. But I still believe, like, when you look at this catalogue here, yeah. if you, you go through each page, there's not one bad pedigree. So the, a lot of horses deserve more money than I think they went for. When you compare pedigree to the actual individual, did you find they matched up? 50-50. Uh, I thought probably 50% did, and then 50% lacked in certain things. Okay. But that's obviously not the, that's not the breeder's fault, it's not the horse's fault, it's just genetics at times, you know? Yeah. Where else have you travelled around the world and how do we compare with other countries? Uh, well, um, I've, I, obviously I'm from Ireland, so yeah. I've done the sales in Ireland and in the United Kingdom. Um, the market there is very strong at the minute. You've obviously got the likes of Coolmore, who are buying quite a lot. You've got uh, Godolphin with uh, Sheikh Mohammed. So the market at the moment there is very strong because of them. And it's the exact same also in Australia and the United States. You've got the two big players the whole time. And now also you've got Phoenix Thoroughbreds who are coming in the mix yeah, also. Yeah. That's, I think, what's lacking over here. You need a couple of big players here also. I know you are quite lucky that you have Sheikh Khalifa, who's over here with horses with Mike the Cock, and also Sheikh Hamdam as well. Yes. So they're two good players to have, but I think you need a little bit more maybe. Okay. And hope, I think the export at the moment is what yeah. I've found to be the tricky bit. It and is. And I think when that opens up, that's when it's going to get strong over yeah. here. Well, we're all working towards that and hoping for that. Lovely to chat to you. Thank we you very much. To see you again in our country. Thank you, and hopefully next year I'll be back here again. We'd love to see you. Thank you.